Hello and welcome to our information session about homework at Bromsgrove International School. I'm Ruth Young, Secondary Principal. And I'm Hannah Bennett, the Primary Principal. Our session today covers what you can expect for your child at Bromsgrove in terms of homework this year. We're going to be talking about extended learning opportunities, ELOs, and independent learning tasks, ILP. We hope that by the end of this session, you will have a clearer idea of how homework will be working this year at Bromsgrove. The picture on the slide is what comes up when you Google homework and go to images. It's not the most exciting and it's not the most engaging of things if you are thinking about traditional homework. Now, we know that parents at BIST want to work in partnership with us, so we don't want to get rid of home learning tasks completely. We just want to make sure that they're relevant to children's learning, they're engaging and exciting, and make children want to learn more rather than be busy work that they feel they have to complete. We hope that extended uh, uh, learning opportunities will um, be more exciting, engaging and enjoyable for students. We hope that tasks will be able to be tailored much more closely to the abilities and interests of each individual student and that teachers will be able to advise and mentor students on the most appropriate tasks for their learning and their progress. We believe that extended learning opportunities will allow children to have more ownership of their independent learning and some choice over what they can complete and when they do so. The school will communicate much more clearly both what tasks are available and what tasks a student completes. So we'll keep that um, continuous uh, communication with you so you can keep track of the tasks that your child's doing as well as us. Um, home and school work will be closely working together and both of us will be working to grow students' independence as young learners. We don't want homework to be dry, pedestrian, irrelevant and tagged on to lessons. We want homework to be, like teaching and learning should be, dynamic, cutting edge and personalised, the Mona Lisa effect in action. So, what's new at Bromsgrove this year? Our intention is to provide students with a library of learning so that they have a wider choice in their out-of-school homework tasks. We want them to be really creative in their choices in terms of what they want to learn outside of school and inspire a, we want to inspire a love of learning which will equip students with the skills necessary to achieve highly in life as well as their external exams. We have planned our work at home to be fun and challenging for our students. It will cover a broad curriculum so that students are not only learning the necessary the necessary curriculum for their external exams, but also ideas and concepts which will guide them as they go on to study at higher education institutions. The extended learning opportunities and independent learning tasks are available for all subjects at all levels. They have been carefully devised to ensure that deeper and creative learning takes place at home as well as in the classroom. Using this method, students become more independent and are able to pursue learning areas which truly interest them, without the worry and stress commonly associated with homework and its grading system. So what will extended learning opportunities look like in primary? For primary age children, we understand that there's some things that just need to be practiced. This is what's going to make up the daily diet. The daily diet is full of things that need to be practiced time and time again for children to master them, grow in confidence, and later apply them to different areas of their learning. It might be things like, read your reading book for 15 minutes and talk to an adult so they can see that you understand what you've read, or practice spelling build up timetables, things that have to be practiced time and time again. 
In addition to the daily diet, children can also... Once they finish their daily diet, children can choose to spice up their learning. Spicing it up refers to the tasks that are related to the core subjects of literacy and math. Each task, or each subject, has three differentiated tasks that children can do. So there'll be three tasks for literacy and three tasks for math. Now these tasks are differentiated so children can work through them and extend their learning in order to make sure that their extended learning opportunity is as personalised as possible. The one chili task is all about replicating what has already been taught in class. So they've done it in class and now we want to see if they can do it independently outside of class. This is typically where traditional homework would have stopped but we wanted to make sure that we can really extend children's learning and give them more of the challenge to do with their families. Two chili tasks will be using the knowledge that the child's learnt in class but using and applying it, trying to apply it to real world situations or to contexts that are slightly different to what's been done in class. Three ch chili tasks is where children can problem solve. It's all about explaining what you've learned, applying it in very different ways and really extending that knowledge and showing how you can use it in different situations. Let's have a look at what some of the one chili tasks might look like. You can see there activities that are asking children to replicate the work they've done in class independently. So it's things like putting numbers in order, uh, making a list to describe yourself, maybe doing some number sentences or column addition, maybe writing a paragraph using the success criteria that children had already decided in their classroom. This, if it's spiced up, looks a bit like this. Here are some three chilly tasks. As you can see, they're a lot more open-ended and hopefully more challenging, really pushing children to explore their learning in different ways to what they've just done in class. Um, some tasks that you might encounter if you get up to the three chilly level of spice are reading a letter to Roald Dahl or to an author that you're studying in class, um, making a video or a poster explaining um, a concept for a younger child, using your knowledge of column addition that you did in your single chili task to go online and go shopping and work out what you can get for 50,000 baht or making a video or presentation about your family or home life that you might want to introduce to your class. When children have completed their daily diet and they've chosen their core subject tasks that you they want to complete, they also have a dessert. Dessert is topic-based tasks that we encourage you to do with your child. So it's aiming to promote home learning for your children and allow them to follow their interests. We'll always give some suggestions of what you can do. So you can see here that um, this is an endangered animals topic and children can choose to create a dance or gym display that uses animal movement. They can research, uh, research the heaviest and the tallest animals draw a picture combining them, um, design a fictional animal that will be able to live in the Arctic, so use their scientific knowledge there. Um, lots and lots of different kinds of things that we hope will appeal to different learners. Now, obviously, if your child wants to do all six of those, that's fantastic. And if they do complete all of the homework tasks, they get a polio point for determination. Um, but we've also got a section at the bottom that's student's choice. Now, we'll put some ideas that children have come up with in class when we speak about their topic. If anyone comes up with a great idea to do, we'll, get, um, we'll write it into student's choice. But we'll also leave some blanks so you can write in what your child chooses to do. 
if they've thought of a fantastic way to extend their learning, for example, for WWF, for the um, endangered animals, if they want to go and help out at an animal sanctuary, that's amazing and that's just what we want children to be doing. We want them to be interested, engaged and share that learning that they do at home with us in school. So student choice will be some ideas that children come up with in class, but also some ideas that your child might come up with at home um, for, for learning that they wish to follow. In secondary, we continue the outstanding work done in primary with extended learning opportunities by rolling it out in Key Stage 3. We have adapted it slightly as we are very mindful that in secondary there are a number of external exams and students need to be fully prepared for their IGCSEs, their A-levels and further beyond their studies at higher education institutions. In years 7, 8 and 9, we will be using extended learning opportunities. Like in primary, we will be using a similar format in English and Maths, where students are given a daily diet of useful tasks to help them in their general study of those two subjects. In the other curriculum subjects in secondary, students will have quick bites as opposed to daily diets, because these are ongoing tasks that they should be doing regularly each week, albeit maybe not every day. At Key Stage 3, they'll also be able to spice it up with some extra chilli tasks. On the screen right now, you can see an example ELO from the English department. At the top, the daily diet, those key activities that students must be completing every day. Underneath, there are three different sections of differentiated extended learning projects, ranging from a light snack, being an extended learning project that will take a, a shorter amount of time, than the feast section with three chillers. Teachers will guide students to the tasks that link to the curriculum studied, but students are welcome to choose the task that excites them the most. It is our expectation that students complete the daily diet menu and also choose a more detailed chilli task to complete as their ind independent study at least once a week. If teachers feel that students need to be challenging themselves more in their choices of their chilli tasks, they will guide them accordingly. We feel that this approach to home learning at Bromsgrove in Key Stage 3 will inspire a much deeper and greater love for their outside study and also more creativity in the end product. In Key Stage 4 and 5, we've adapted the extended learning opportunities to become independent learning tasks because we are ever mindful of the needs of our Key Stage 4 and 5 students it, with their external exam pressures. As you can see, independent learning tasks are divided into different sections. Expected tasks, which is a variation on the daily diet. These are tasks that students must do in order to achieve their full potential in their final exam. There is also a section of continual revision tasks which will complement classwork and prepare students for their external exams. Within the expected tasks, there, are, there is differentiation, so that you can see in the example on the screen from science, the teacher has identified someone, a, t a student as a zookeeper if they can do um, an identification task involving a few um, mammals and reptiles, all the way up to an adventurer, where they actually start being able to guide and help people identify different types of plants and invertebrates. Here's an example from the maths department. Not only will the maths department be providing their chilli tasks on paper, they also are going to be using their BIST Maths Weebly page, which some of you will recognise from last year. There's going to be, it's going to have all of their two chilli tasks on there so that they can, so students have the opportunity to complete them and they'll also still win some cool maths prizes.
There are some more examples of independent learning tasks here from the English department and from the history department. As you can see, there are numerous links with the more traditional homework which you may be accustomed to. However, we are trying to encourage our students to really broaden their horizons and to be more creative in their tasks, hence the inclusion of more extended project-based work. This is an example from Key Stage 5 Psychology. As you can see, the format we have employed at Key Stage 4 runs all the way through to Key Stage 5, with expected tasks and continual revision tasks that are ongoing throughout the course. We really feel that with this focus on independence and creativity outside of the classroom, that our students will be better prepared for their external exams and also for their future un university studies. Nowadays, it is not simply enough just to have learnt facts and be able to write them in exams. It is important that students understand the underlying concepts and how they can apply them in different scenarios in order to achieve the highest grades possible at both IGCSE and A-level. We want to make sure that all students receive outstanding support both at home and at school. We're constantly evaluating and reviewing both our teaching and learning and ELOs and ILTs to ensure that provision is of the highest possible level. We're happy to answer any questions that you may have, either by email or if you want to come in and talk to us in person. Um, we'd also like to invite you, if you do have any suggestions, to come to a workshop which will be held in six weeks' time. If you want to find out the exact date, then it's um, on the website. This workshop will be an opportunity to listen to your views as well as sharing feedback from staff and students. Thank you very much for listening to us today and please do email if you've got any questions at all that you'd like answering.